TB12 training regime helps prevent athletic injuries. It trains all muscles to remain long and soft as they absorb force. The TB12 lifestyle program is a prehab or pre-post workout sessions which helps prevent injuries. This program is important in football considering the ridiculously high number of players who get an injury from playing every year. Injuries occur so often that the NFL has been christened not for long instead of National Football League. The NFL's commitment to the welfare of the players has been called into question over the years by some sports journalists given the high number of severely torn ligaments and concussions recorded each year. The TB12 training program is not intended for just professional football players, but for all athletes in general. Furthermore, researchers have validated that TB12 training methods are effective in preventing injuries. In 2017, a study was conducted on a group of young rugby players, a sport which shares a lot of similarities with football. It measured the effect a 20-minute, pregame warm-up, which included footwork, training, resistance work, and running, had on the injury rate. Results showed that the overall injury rate went down by 70%. Other scientific reviews of this literature concluded that pre-warming up is effective in reducing injuries in football to a third. The TB12 training technique is customized for each athlete, but the methods are generally in tune with a doctor's recommendation. A doctor of sports medicine, Dr. Bill Kelly, reported in a scientific article that static training is not enough. He recommends working each muscle in a way it will be used during the game. This recommendation epitomizes what the TB12 method is all about. The TB12 method incorporates habits that are profoundly different from those required of traditional football training programs. The TB12 program involves short training bursts of aerobic and tension bands exercise. It heavily discourages heavy weightlifting. In contrast, the NFL and league training emphasizes excessive weightlifting. One NFL trainer reveals the number one method to prevent injuries in football is through weightlifting. This contrasts with what Brady recommends. The trainer, Ryan Capretta, further states that weightlifting activates a given muscle which minimizes joint loads. Weightlifting is also stressed even for amateur football players. All four workouts in the men's fitness body workout emphasized weightlifting, three of them heavily encouraging it. Some of the instructions recommend weight training as much as possible. The NFL training camp is a notoriously brutal place. Nate Jackson, an NFL player, describes it as a constant source of acute pain and sores, such that he struggles to get out of bed some mornings. He further states that little room is given for recovery after punishing workouts, whereas recovery is a critical component of Brady's recommendation for pain-free training. While the Patriots do not follow the TB12 training method, they adopt a training program with a similar approach which focuses on preventing injuries. Some team members use TB12 training, but it is a personal choice and not a team protocol. The TB12 training reverses the adverse effect of aging on the body's musculature. As we age, 1% of muscle degenerates annually for people over 50 years old. This is because of hormonal changes, especially the drops in estrogen or testosterone levels. This hormonal shift has health implications that go beyond physical performance and into weight maintenance. The loss of muscles results in the body burning fewer calories. Fortunately, the degenerative muscle process can be reversed even in adults who are more than 90 years old. The TB12 training method is an effective way to reverse muscle deterioration. A growing area of scientific research has revealed how the muscle degeneration process occurs at a cellular level. It shows that falling mitochondria levels is directly proportional to the body's inability to rebuild damaged muscles. A Mayo Clinic study examined human cells at the metabolic level for humans over the age of 64. The study involved testing different exercise programs to see if any were effective in reversing the effects of aging. Participants were assigned into four training regiments which included, no exercise, light weightlifting combined with light aerobic exercise, interval training, and weight training for three months. After the exercise period, it was discovered that interval training showed signs of reversing the effects of aging on a cellular level and was more effective than the other three regiments. This effect was more pronounced in older participants. The TB12 training method, which uses internal training and zero weightlifting, shares a lot of similarities with the interval training to which the group was subjected. 
TB12 pliability sessions are a pre- and post-workout session which lengthen and soften muscles that are most affected by aging. Brain fitness and any other brain exercise that enhances neuroplasticity is a crucial element of the TB12 method. Mental exercises can improve brain function which enhances an athlete's performance. It is an exercise called brain training. Brain training is a multi-billion dollar industry, and the TB12 team in conjunction, BrainHQ, has developed its brain exercise. It is the only brain enhancement program as of 2017 that was widely accepted and evidenced-based. Dr. Michael Merzenich is a neuroscientist, who leads the science team at BrainHQ. He was the first of many researchers who discovered that the brain can make positive chemical, functional, and physical changes through adulthood. BrainHQ is a neuroscience-based company which focuses on the brain's physiology rather than psychology and designs exercises that stimulate the release of chemicals such as dopamine. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to make new neural connections from new experiences including, but not limited to, injuries caused by having a stroke or playing football. The brain as a neuroplastic organ can learn how to perform old tasks in new ways. Neuroplasticity is at its peak during puberty, but it does not fritter away completely in adulthood as scientists once thought. It was initially designed for treating children with dyslexia and adults with mental illness or brain injuries, but has been extended to educating neurotypical adults. Merzenich first made the neuroplasticity discovery in the late 1960s and 70s. But he couldn't convince the scientific community at that time to accept what now stands as one of the most significant scientific discoveries of all time. Scientists in the 70s saw the brain as a mechanical organ, and damage through trauma or disease could not be reversed. But Merzenich, being a tireless worker and convinced about the potential application of his discovery, did not give up. Today, adult neuroplasticity is widely accepted and discussed in major publications of the world, such as the New York Times. Inflammation can be prevented by smart training plans and healthy eating. In 2015, inflammation was named the new medical buzzword by a member of the editorial board of the Mayo Clinic. It spread rapidly into mainstream media, finding its way into diet books and anti-inflammation cookbooks, creating a new significant category. Two types of inflammation have been identified, acute and systemic. TB12 training was designed to combat both. Acute inflammation occurs when the body tries to heal itself of a wound or when it is fighting off an infection. For instance, body trauma from a football injury can cause inflammation in the body. As a result, the TB12 method advocates a period of rest after a day of professional football to avoid aggravating the inflammation due to trauma experienced during play. Systemic inflammation, on the other hand, is caused by certain triggers such as food sensitivities or seasonal allergies. The TB12 method recommends the elimination of some foods, such as animal products, because of its propensity to trigger low-grade inflammation. Scientists have evidently supported the idea that inflammation is a precursor to chronic diseases including heart disease and cancer. Fortunately, there are foods which help prevent it. For instance, curcumin is an active ingredient that has shown significant promise in reducing inflammation. Good nutrition is crucial to the TB12 method. Ideally, the diet of athletes should contain more organic plant-based foods. Nutrition and athletic performance are positively correlated. For peak physical conditioning, it is important that an athlete's food is organic, unprocessed, and plant-based. Whole foods are enriching as they contain more vital nutrients absent in supplements. To benefit from the many nutrients of whole foods, an athlete should eat many kinds of vegetables and fruits and less of animal-based foods. An optimal diet is one which contains the following in one serving per day, flax seeds, nuts, spices, and cruciferous vegetables, two servings of greens, plus two more servings of additional vegetables, and three servings of whole grains, beans, and non-berry fruits. This serving will not only improve performance but will also enhance the body's ability to heal itself after an injury. Good nutrition involves eating fresh produce. A well-stocked food store makes it easier to prepare simple dishes without the need for a recipe, and if you are looking to make the transition from a standard American diet to a whole foods diet, you should consider author Heidi Swanson's recommendation on the category of foods to clear from your food store. Staple oils include whole grains, sweeteners, and oils.
Clear your food store of all processed food items like white flour, canola oil, shortening, refined sugar, all-purpose flour, and high-fructose corn syrup. Replace with fats such as coconut oil, sesame oil, olive oil, and ghee, and healthy grains that serve as bulk up for salads such as quinoa, millet, oats, farro, wheat berries, and wild rice. And finally, go for natural sugars such as brown rice syrup, honey, date sugar, and maple syrup. After workouts and other exerting exercises, proper hydration is a vital component of the TB12 method. The TB12 advise proper hydration right after workouts. Drinking lots of water fortified with electrolytes rather than commercial energy dehydrating drinks like power horse, alcohol, or soft drinks will help athletes to achieve peak physical condition. A rule of thumb is to drink a minimum of half of one's body weight in ounces, which should be gradually increased on days of high activity. Proper hydration is needed to rid the body of toxins and keep muscles pliable while also preventing fatigue. Proper hydration has several other essential functions in the body. All organs and systems of the body need water to function properly. For instance, water keeps the mucous membrane moist, lubricates joints, dissolves nutrients, and maintains body temperature. The most telling signs of dehydration are thirst, fatigue, and dry lips. The TB12 method is based on the ideas and practices of Tom Brady's trainer, Alex Guerrero. Brady and his longtime body coach Alex Guerrero became business partners in 2013 when the TB12 Sports Therapy opened in Foxborough, Massachusetts. All the principles and training methods of the TB12 method are Guerrero's brainchild. Guerrero is also the godfather of Brady's youngest son. Brady's has an intense admiration for Guerrero which is widely reported and criticized in some quarters. Many commentators do not fully accept Guerrero's training techniques and his business activities, mainly after he had an infraction with the Federal Trade Commission in 2004. Guerrero accommodates public controversies about his methods, but the TB12 method has been endorsed not just by Brady, but by many other journalists who have benefited from his services. A typical example is a reporter for the Men's Journal who visited the TB12 center after he injured his foot badly in a fall. Against his doctor's order, he got recovery instructions from Guerrero which led to a faster recovery time than was anticipated by his doctor.